We're back on Broadway and I'm eating a Snickers. Sorry. Here's where the late show with David Letterman plays. This is the famous Ed Sullivan Theater. And if you've ever, ever been inside, I should take these off. Um, Dave loves to keep it extremely cold in there because for a comedy, you don't want people hot and tired and fanning themselves. You want them freezing and ready to laugh. And so that's what we love at Forbidden Broadway, the show I'm in, is for it to be freezing because we don't sweat, A, and the audience laugh. So that's something Dave does in there. But this is the Ed Sullivan Theater where the Beatles and Elvis and all these famous people, every Sunday night, Ed Sullivan would broadcast from this very theater. So, pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to go down next to the Broadway Theater, and we'll continue there. Here we are in the alley of 53rd Street, just across from Studio 54, where Shrek the Musical is coming in in the next uh, two months, I think. They just opened in Seattle last night, and I love these huge three-sheet posters on the wall. Um, Young Frankenstein, Xanadu. But uh, most recently, Color Purple was here. And uh, but the famous shows that have been here, let me see. Uh, Patti LuPone, of course, in Evita in 1979. Um, right now, Cirque Dreams Jungle Fantasy just closed. Uh, but they've had some very un Broadway shows here, like Squonk or Blast. But uh, these are sort of filler shows until the good Broadway musicals come. In. So uh, we'll continue in one second. So, as I was saying, this theater is so big, it has to have really big hits. Like, Color Purple ran a couple years, but uh, Evita played here, the original Gypsy with Ethel Merman played here, which is pretty awesome. But uh, it seats like 1,700, 1,800 seats, which is almost, it's one of the biggest Broadway theaters. But uh, something cool about this theater, they rearranged the seats in the 70s two or three times. They gutted all the seats, took them out, and for a musical called Dude, the guy who wrote Hair, he wrote a musical called Dude that really made no sense, but it was totally done in the round. And they had different sections like the hills and the, the valleys and the, everybody had different seating sections. So it wasn't like row A104, it was like totally in the round. So you walked in, it was weird. There was dirt all over the floor, it was really odd. And then and the next year, Candide, the revival of Candide that Hal Prince directed, came over here from Brooklyn. And it was a huge hit, but he rearranged the set too and did it, the, the theater seating also, and did it in the round. So uh, they really messed up the seating for quite some time. But uh, I think the two biggies here are Vita and Gypsy. I really love the Broadway theater. And it's one of the only two or three theaters that are actually on Broadway. Most of the other ones are on side streets. So I thought that was interesting.